Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I wanted to share with you um, a new collection that just came out um, by Kelly Bangs Creative. It's called True Colors. And um, the first project I made was this uh, really sweet memory decks card. It's like really fun, uh, kind of interactive card. And, um, and then I'm gonna show you part of the collection. I didn't print everything, but this is, um, uh, just I just printed like some of the you know my favorites so um, but there's a lot there so definitely um, you can get to Kelly's uh, website from the link in my bio or you can go to Kelly's um, page on Instagram and she has a link to her website um, or you can just go to kellybangscreative.com and you can find um, everything there so anyway um, so let's get started so this is the um, card I made and the if you're wondering where I got the uh, whoops this piece here that kind of spins that's actually a KS craft die um, so you can find that I got mine on Amazon but you can find it on Amazon or um, if it's sold out there um, on AliExpress so that's where this 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 die came from and then I took that as my base and I just uh, made it using all of the fun papers in this collection and then added um, several pieces of the ephemera from the collection. So the card um, actually is just kind of spins around. I thought it would be really cute to, um, you know, kind of have the little girl here as if she's, you know, maybe spinning the wheel for someone and, you know, in a game or something. And then I just layered it with, um, there's so many pieces in this collection. There's like film strips and tag pages where you can just have all sorts of like tags and labels. So I layered some of those, added the kite. Oh, it looks like I got a little water spot on here. How funny. Um, but anyway, and then I just added some uh, little sequins and some, you know, little clusters just to give it some, you know, extra depth. Did some little sequins up here. And then I love this, this girl in her collection, the little ballerina and with her cute little glasses. And I did add a little like bow cabochon there in her hair. And then I love um, like the kind of vintage um, or retro, not really vintage, but like retro um, bowling pins and the Rubik's cube and then like this little view master. So, uh, super, super fun. So I thought that was a cute way to, um, kind of showcase some of my favorite pieces from the collection. So I have a thing where I'm, I'm going to start making a memory decks card out of every collection. Uh, I may do also a, um, like a pocket letter, but I wanted to start um, with just kind of with some of my favorite elements of a collection. That way, when I'm done with the collection, I still have um, like, a, like a little memento from it. Um, but the good thing about Kelly's uh, collections, um, these are digital, so you really are never going to run out. You can just, you know, keep creating with them as long as, as you'd like. So that is the uh, card. And then uh, as far as the paper and stuff goes I'll just show you like I said I didn't print everything but this is just some of the main things so this here is um, one of the sheets of ephemera so kind of give you like a quick little scan through um, super super cute I think there's three pages of ephemera so here you go isn't that so cute? Like, look at this little parrot. I love all the different paint brushes. This is one of my favorite pieces. I use it on another project, but then I wound up covering it with, because I was layering it, so I kind of um, covered it up. But like the rainbow, I love the little like Xbox controller. There's those bowling balls. But yeah, super, super cute. And then this is the third page of ephemera. But yeah, a lot of ephemera. And um, if you're not familiar, you can either fussy cut these out, which is what I do, or you can cut them out on like your Cricut or your Silhouette or whatever cutting machine you have. So um, Kelly does provide the file um, so that you can do that. Um, so that's the ephemera. And then, um, oh, let's see, let me get all the paper. I didn't, I don't think I printed out every sheet of paper. I might be missing like one or two, but um, we'll just, show you what I did print out. So I love, love, love this. Um, hopefully the colors are coming through okay. Um, I, it's a little bit dark um, when I'm while I'm filming, so I'm not sure if the colors are coming through um, really well, but love that. This um, 
heart is so cute. Whoops. It's really cute. And then, um, let me just do this this way. But isn't that one so fun? Super, super cute. Love this one. So, so cute. I love the stars. And then, isn't that so, I gotta show you that close up. But these are almost like little um, view, oh gosh, what are these called? Um, like slides, first, like a little slide show or something like that, or a little, um, I forgot what they're called. But yeah, I think they're slides. I love this one. I love the yellow and the pink contrasting. And then this one's super fun too. And I thought this would be really cute. So you could actually cut these out, like cut, like that and you know so it looks like a little paint chip um you could you know and then you could use that for like layering and things like that so those are just some of the pieces like i said i'm i didn't print them all so there's a couple more uh, really really cute and then um there were i think in the collection three sheets of these i think these are what are these three by four cut aparts um, but these are really 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 cute i love this one so so fun and then um wait did i print them all oh shoot oh wait here's one more yeah i think there's three of those pages but this one i love that as well so those are super fun and then there was a whole sheet of um these different size circles so i have a couple of different sizes of circle punches so those were really easy to cut out um, and then I love this like word phrase sheet hooray amazing show me a smile yeah really really fun and Kelly always does the most amazing um, colors in her collections okay and then she did um, I don't know if she's if Kelly's going to start doing this on all I need to ask um, of her collections. I think she's going to start doing some really big pieces if you want to use them in another way. I haven't figured out yet how I'm going to use mine, but there's one which I love, the Viewmaster and the Giant Paintbrush. And then here's another um, like slide here, and then the, 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 the Giant Feather, super fun. And then this one is super fun. I thought this would be really cute to do, uh, make a like a mini album, um, which actually it's pretty big. It's like the size of my hand, so it wouldn't even be that mini. Um, or like this, um, even this would be a really cute, tiny little mini album. So yeah, some fun pieces. I can't wait to see what um, other people on the design team do with these. Um, I'll be really curious to see and hopefully get inspired on um, how to use those. But anyway, so that's just the collection. Um, like I said, there's more to it. There's a there's several other pages I didn't print. Hopefully, um, though, that gave you a really good idea of what is in the collection and uh, inspires you to go check out um, Kelly's website and um, get you a collection so that you can start creating. Um, so anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Um, I really appreciate it. If you like the video, please um, hit the like button. And um, if you're new here, please subscribe. Um, so, um, you know, I and, and also comment. Like I like to, you know, when people comment, I like to see what people have to say. And um, obviously I'll, I'll be responding to those as well. But um, just thought I'd show you this one more time. Isn't that so cute? All right. Thanks so much, you guys, for coming by. Talk to you later.